This video is sponsored by MK Offroad. I'm Danny Butler. The Gruffalo's had a paint job. And this is Trial Tube. Bling update. I've recently uh, been able to get my hands on some of the carbon fiber Jitsi fort guards, which did take a while to come, so they must be in short supply, but I was finding that my white plastic ones that I was having before were cracking quite easily down the bottom, and these ones seem to fit a lot more snug. Also, the graphics fit really nicely. The guys at Jitsi have obviously done their homework there and had a good think about it, but uh, they are quite pricey, and I understand everyone has a budget, but the most important thing you need to remember on these is, Whatever you do, when you clean the bike, make sure you lift the guards off every time. Because no matter how tight they may be, you won't believe the amount of mud that goes down the bottom of them. One of the main things that you can upgrade on your bike, of course, are the wheels. Sometimes it's good to have a second set for, say, if you're like me and you do a lot of miles here at Trials Day. You can use one set to run around on or practice on your practice wheels and then you can have some for trials competitions, your competition wheels, like these. Yeah! Jitsi wheel, is it lighter? We'll find out. Okay, let's party. MK Offroad is one of the UK's best suppliers of Osset electric kids trials bikes. So for our viewers that don't know what an Osset is, basically it's a kids electric trials bike. Back in the day we used to ride things like TY80s, but now the Osset has become an economical and easy way for people to get into trials with their little ones. MK Offroad being one of the UK's biggest Osset suppliers and easiest places to go and get one, they've got all the different sizes, all the way up from the teeny tiny one up to the 24 inch wheel Osset. So for the people in the comments that are now going, that's not an Osset. Most of the main manufacturers like Beta, TRS, have built their own versions, but Osset with the originals. And you always should really go with the originals. The reason why I've got a Beta one is the fact that my little girl likes the fact that she's got a bike like Daddy's. So you can get in contact with the guys at MK Offroad to pick yourselves or your little one up, one of these Ossets, although they are great fun if you're an adult. Just running up the tyre to get some of that traction. Bit of rubber on that rock there for the grip. And that was it. That was everything that the bike had got. He's working it to the top. By checking out all of the information that I'm going to leave in the description to this video. So all you've got to do is click below, follow down and check out their contact details and get in touch with Andy and he'll be more than happy to help you out. As himself, he has a young one that rides an Osset in the, uh, in the E class for the national rounds. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how to get up those rocky stream climbs that you always encounter, especially if you live in the Peak District. So we found ourselves a nice steep bit of stream section, and it's going to be all about keeping the bike moving, having that momentum, and most importantly, not stopping. I'm a big fan of the stop and hop, but I tell you what, the last thing I'm going to be pulling in here is this thing right here on the front, the clutch. If you pull this, you've got some work on. Now I've been told in the comments that I'm not serious enough so what I'm going to do from now on is be a serious, competitive 
serious X World Cup riding, serious. You get the idea. So, the first section that we've got here, here at Trials Day, the best thing about Trials Day is the fact that it's so, so natural. We've got so much amazing terrain here in the Peak District, we can literally take the mickey on how many different sections we want to set. We've got some down there that are made of obstacles and artificial stuff. And up here, we have what I like to call Trials 101. Section one. So if you're riding a motorcycle trial and you get to a section, what you need to do is, of course, walk the section. Most important thing in the world, there's a few rules, every section you get up to, number, rule number one, walk the section. Rule number two, don't go first, let the sheep do that. If you're gonna let, send some lambs to the slaughter, send the other riders in. No. When you get to the section, very, very important, as you come into the section, these, these are no longer Alpine Star, they are JCB. Really important, okay? The reason why I call them JCBs is every time that you walk this section, if you see something you don't like, move it out of the way until the observer tells you not to do it. Best way to, not, to get away with this is when you get to the section, say to the observer, morning, how are you doing? Then, as you walk through the section, this is the move, kids. No. Obviously, when I say this, I don't mean go around the section going, four. Oh! No. So when you're in the section, it's important to get a good line. Now, a good line means a nice smooth curve around the corner, even as it steepens. It's very important to make sure that the bike stays on line because you'll need that line for if you get further up and the corners start to tighten. Also, if you are riding a stream, try and stay in the water. Normally, the water is where the grip lives. You'll often see riders like Doug Lampkin at the Scottish Six Days actually putting water on the rocks, cleaning them off or trying to find some grip. So, you know, if that's where the water is, stay there. So you come around the corner, cheeky little rock step, which you've got to keep on line for because after the little rock step, there's another very steep climb, which as you can see, the water's now made a cut path through. And if you look closely, the water's actually left a lot of grip there. It's cleared a lot of the mud out and it's now solid underfoot, which means if it's solid where the water is, that's where the grip lives, kids. Let's get to it then. Now before you go in a section, it's really important to have a bit of a, what I call, section procedure. So if you pull up before you go in, really important, have a quick breather because I've seen through the years, hundreds of riders hold their breath in a section. So have a big deep breath, get yourself ready, composed, look into the section, think about your line, think about where you're going as well. Think nice strong arms, then you want to be clutch fully in. Selecting the gear that you're going to use for this section, which for me, myself, on the 300 beta is going to be second to keep that momentum going. It's not going to be first gear, it's too shaly. And then once you've got your gear selection, set yourself up, set your hands, weight your peg. Now when I say weight the peg, what I mean is move all of the weight from your right foot onto the peg and press down on the suspension. Then you can pull off knowing that you're not going to lose grip on the back end. Winner. Once again, thank you for watching Trial Tube. We really appreciate it. Obviously, all the support means so much to me. Every subscriber that we've got means a lot. We ticked over a 1K just through Christmas, so uh, that was my kind of goal coming into the new year. So I really appreciate the support. Um, please do remember to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, most importantly, if you are on lockdown right now watching this content, please stay safe. I'm out here on the side of a hill completely on my own. See you again next time. Don't do that! 
Do it again, it's all right, I can do that. That's in the cock-ups. So what did you think about that? So what's been this close? Is this a problem or have you had the jab yet? Are you one of those anti-vaccine? It's all over the internet, you know. They're out to get us.